I wanted to bring you this big news this morning out of the U.S. banking sector. This is something that I've been warning you about for a while now, and it's about to get serious. We are about to see some serious stuff hit the fan. If you're in the 1%, then you're probably going to be fine. You're about to probably make a lot more money. But if you're like me, then you should be very worried about what's coming, guys. I think people are missing a major piece of this, the China part of this development, which we now have our clearest sign yet that the United States dollar is in real trouble. Oh, rates are coming down? Uh, nothing to worry about. Oh, really? Get ready because this data is frightening or really exciting, like I said, if you're in the 1% because you're about to get a lot richer. But most people will not. Most people will get hurt really hard. So we'll get to that in a second. But first, I want to be very clear. The U.S. dollar is not going to collapse overnight. Large structures don't just suddenly collapse. Cracks and fissures, along with a controlled demolition, bring down large structures. And in this metaphor, the large structure is the U.S. economy. And make no mistake about it, a controlled demolition, that's what you're watching right now. The U.S. dollar will cease to exist as we know it and will become a digital dollar controlled by Wall Street instead of the U.S. Treasury. That is happening whether you like it or not. That ship has sailed. And it's actually much further along than most Americans even know about. So that's happening. And as Putin said last week in his interview with Tucker Carlson, the U.S. is destroying the dollar with its own hands, he said. He's spot on correct about this. Look at what is going on in the world. Even the United States allies are now downsizing their dollar reserves. Seeing this, everyone starts looking for ways to protect themselves. I think it is complete foolishness from the point of view of the interests of the United States itself and its taxpayers, as it damages the U.S. economy, undermines the power of the United States across the world. Do you even realize what is going on or not? Does anyone in the United States realize this? What are you doing? You are cutting yourself off. All experts say this. Before I show you this new data out of China, I want you to understand something about the U.S. Treasuries. As my grandma used to say, U.S. Treasuries are the one, you know, safest investment in the world. They're issued by the U.S. government and they're backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. So, you, you know, you should invest in them, right? Well, as of this video, the amount of U.S. Treasuries outstanding is less than 26 trillion. In the fall, that number was over 30 trillion. Where did that 4 trillion go? The answer is they dumped it. They got rid of it. The biggest foreign holders of these treasury bills, Japan, China, Saudi Arabia, the UK, they're selling them off. Normally with these treasuries, they give the United States money and they expect to be paid back with interest. So the United States gets this money from China and then sends it off to Ukraine and other places. As Senator Rand Paul said, this is madness. But it's irresponsible to simply borrow more money. To borrow the money from China, simply to send it to Ukraine makes no sense and makes us weaker not stronger. Okay, but this isn't news. But the big news is that China is dumping U.S. Treasuries like a bad habit, on pace to unload most, if not all of them, by the end of fiscal year 2024. And they're ramping up massive stimulus because the economy is crapping the bed right now. We just got the November numbers, which are the latest numbers of the U.S. Treasuries, and they took a huge dump. Many more countries have been selling billions of dollars worth of U.S. Treasuries. China's U.S. Treasury holdings fell to just under $800 billion. That's a huge decline. It's the lowest in 20 years. But what's stunning in this new data is that Beijing just sold off 15% of its entire holdings of U.S. Treasuries. If they sold them all at once, it would destroy the United States. And Congress knows it. They've been run, running tabletop exercises on it. And then when they asked Janet Yellen about, hey, what's your contingency plan over at the Treasury Department? This was her response. Uh, the scenario was that China, the second largest foreign creditor of U.S. Treasuries, uh, would dump uh, that $859 billion in Treasury securities. How are you working with our allies internationally and also the Federal Reserve uh, 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 to deal with a situation where China would dump uh, that volume of Treasury securities overnight? So the, we are not engaging in specific um, exercises to address, address such a risk, um, but the United, the United States the National Security Council is certainly concerned on an ongoing basis. Well, Madam Secretary, I would encourage yes. Treasury to, to uh, make preparations and, and, and be, be on the ready. Do you feel better now? Great response. Meanwhile, China is dumping U.S. dollars and buying up as much gold as they can possibly find. A record pace of buying gold. Remember, we use the sale of these treasuries to finance just about everything we hold dear in the United States, from Social Security to all of the wars that the United States loves to launch. 
This is all interrelated, folks. Saudi Arabia, the BRICS nations, dumping tens of billions of dollars of U.S. treasuries. But it gets worse, much worse. And I think this is really the most important part of the story because we can't control China. And now, looks like we can't control our own banks here at home because things are about to get crazy. The dollar is about to go insane when the yield curve starts rising again. Experts believe things are going to go insane right around March 11th. That's when the reverse repo market runs out. The bank term funds program ends on March 11th. This means in English that Powell may have no choice but to raise rates to stave off a crisis. But if rates go up, guess what happens? Small banks that are holding all of these commercial real estate loans are about to collapse. Do you see what's happening here? Rates go up, China dumps more treasuries, the Fed prints more money, and the 1%, they make millions. Well, we get screwed. We are watching a house of cards right now ready to collapse. That's not me saying that. That's economists and analysts that I trust very worried about what's coming in the next 37 days from now. These are major changes to the United States dollar and a crash that could change everything. And I mean everything. China knows it, by the way, and they're playing the Biden administration like a fiddle right now. We have a lot of news items that I want to get to and I think you need to pay attention to if you're an investor. But it's no wonder the West is actively planning to go to war with China, doing everything it can to stop China's economic moves. So we're going to get to these big dollar changes here in just a moment and the undeniable trouble that the U.S. economy is in. But first, the military stuff, the war footing, the chest beating stuff. Over the past few days, China has moved more warships and assets into the South China Sea. Their intentions about invading Taiwan are clear. We are getting very close to that moment. Then the United States stationed U.S. special forces on China's border in the past few days. You can't make this up. Former U.S. Marine and former U.N. weapons inspector Scott Ritter just told me this is a clear provocation and it's incredibly stupid on the part of the Biden regime. Uh, it just it's stupidity in the extreme and the chinese know the trajectory that they're on they're they're on a trajectory of getting taiwan back and having a you know a couple dozen special for american special forces on an island that literally can be obliterated in a moment one missile i'm not talking about nuclear just one missile on that island kills everybody so it's stupid it it does it accomplishes nothing it's just it's america being dumb again that's all we can do is be dumb so this is all kabuki theater, window dressing for what's really going on here. China's markets just lost $7 trillion in value, $7 trillion. And China's real estate situation is devastating. And more than just Evergrande is in deep trouble. Every single property developer in China that's, that's public or listed is in default bankruptcy today. So it sounds terrible for China, but China, by the way, has the upper hand. And it will be even worse for the United States with rampant inflation. China is aiming for the yuan to be the reserve currency of the world. And they know that U.S. inflation is crushing Americans right now. I mean, just look at Biden's poll numbers. Yeah, I mean, from the president's standpoint, certainly it's concerning to be behind Donald Trump at all, certainly by five points. That's the largest lead Trump's ever had over Biden in our polling. Why? Because Americans are paying more for everything. The value of the U.S. dollar is not what it used to be. Vladimir Putin, in a speech last week in an interview with Tucker Carlson, pointed out that they didn't even use to trade in yuan. They didn't even use to settle transactions in rubles and yuan with China. Now they do, thanks to what Biden has done. Look at what is going on in the world. Even the United States allies are now downsizing their dollar reserves. Seeing this, everyone starts looking for ways to protect themselves. What did we have here? Until 2022, about 80% of Russian foreign trade transactions were made in U.S. dollars and euros. U.S. dollars accounted for approximately 50% of our transactions with third countries, while currently it is down to 13%. It wasn't us who banned the use of the U.S. dollar. It was decision of the United States to restrict our transactions in U.S. dollars. So China just launched a massive injection of stimulus into its economy. And that's terrible news for the U.S. dollar. Why? Well, investors love cheap stocks and they love countries that artificially prop up those stocks with stimulus, which is exactly what China is doing. Now, remember, during our stimulus heyday, Wall Street made billions of dollars. The 1% got richer while you guys got screwed. So investors right now are dumping the United States and instead buying up the very cheap Chinese stocks. The Fed panics, has to slash rates even more. That doesn't project confidence in the United States economy, which is now $34 trillion in debt. Jerome Powell was asked about this, and he said last week that the United States debt is unsustainable. When something, by the way, is unsustainable, that means it collapses. 
But in 37 days at the Fed's March 20th meeting, we will have our response to China. They are stimulating their currency, and we are forced to devalue our currency, and our dollar will be unrecognizable. Because China is just one piece of this puzzle. But see, Jerome Powell's hands are tied behind his back because of the United States commercial real estate collapse that's on the verge of happening. Not the residential real estate, that's doing fine, and I think prices are going to go up. No, commercial real estate, office buildings, which are vacant. And now that is tied to small local regional banks. I don't know if you know what's been happening right now, and I don't know if you know what's been happening over the past week, but these regional banks have these loans with these commercial real estate buyers, and they are walking away from their mortgages, defaulting. That means many of these regional banks are about to go under if interest rates don't come down fast. Because many of these real estate owners had five-year adjustable rate mortgages, and there's no way they want to refinance from 3% up to 6 or 7%, or even higher. So they need these interest rates to come down fast. But guys, here's the real story. Here's the rub. If inflation goes up thanks to what China is doing with their stimulus, then Powell won't be able to slash interest rates at this March 20th meeting as we expect him to do. Instead, do the opposite. Pull the rug out from the economy. We are facing a crash like never before. Interest rates go back up. Are you crazy? All of these commercial banks are going to experience catastrophic default on commercial real estate loans. And each of these banks will start to topple one by one. Mark my words. Remember 2008? That'll be like peanuts compared to the amount of loans out there right now. The collateralized debt obligation in 2008 was $400 billion before it collapsed. Right now, $1.5 trillion. Do you remember? They made a whole movie about it called The Big Short. Remember this scene when Steve Carell's character asks the guy about these debts, and if he's worried about these defaults, and he demurs and says, nah, I'm not on the hook for them. Yeah, we know what happened. I'd show you the clip, but we'd get a copyright takedown, so I can't, but you know the scene. So who will be on the hook when these collapses happen again? No matter how you slice it, the United States dollar that you're holding in your hand right now will look unrecognizable in the next few weeks.